When we want to do for really, really um, identification of talent, we have to be deliberate and we believe that schools are the best place to do so. And that's why in other countries, Morocco, for example, uh, which has done very well in growing its sports academies, and that's why they reached the semifinals in the World Cup, they have, their ministry is called Ministry of Education and Sports because then education and sports go together. And in this policy we are trying to work on, we want to bring education and sports to have a collaborative framework. We want even more of the funding of sports activities to be the high school, primary high school and colleges. And we want to make sure that the universities become center of uh, sports uh, development so that we can marry education and sports for our young people so that they have a skill uh, but also they have uh, um, uh, knowledge that can help them survive after their talent uh, uh, cannot uh, uh, give them any further resources. That's why in this policy we want to really explain why, we want to answer the question why is it that all our Olympians, for example, were not from the various colleges and universities in the country, like it is in other parts of the world. Why are we not able to have a, a pathway from primary, secondary, after secondary, you don't see an athlete, for example, the ones who are runners. They end at high school, and the rest, if they are in a the university, they are in abroad. But in a locally here, we haven't been able to integrate the education with sports. And because we haven't been deliberate in pushing for sports in, in schools. So uh, academies will work better for the younger people. We need also in the law to now ask ourselves, what are the standards of academies even if someone was going to uh, establish at a private uh, entity and uh, where will they register? Will they register or register of sports? How do you monitor so that there is no abuse?